ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? I got ADHD. It's about anything. It's about everything. It's ADHD. Welcome back to ADHD with me, Travis Mills. Today's a huge day because I got my buddy Chris Lee on the podcast. Yeah, man. I, I haven't been nervous to do a podcast before, but... uh. I'm nervous today. You know what's funny is if you only knew how stupid I think I am, you wouldn't be nervous. Well, my thing is like, you're so <laughs> funny. Oh. And so anytime well, I hang out with you, I yeah. feel like just super unfunny. Oh. It's well, like playing football with a pro football player. Oh, well, okay. I appreciate you know? <laughs> that. Yeah. It is weird always for me to think about funny people as a profession. Like I was thinking about like, if you think of like the best football players or the best baseball players or the best, you know, however many there are, like however, how, like how many baseball players are there? There's oh, what, shit. on a team, there's what? 20 or 30? Yeah, something like that. Okay. And how many teams are there? These guys don't, none of the fucking th guys out here play any <laughs> shit. Look at you motherfucking skinny ass. I'm the same way. But uh, yeah, no, like 30 plus times, however many. It's, it's like, like 900 at yeah, least. So it's like if you, but like what I was thinking the other day is like to name, you couldn't name 900 comedians. You couldn't name no. 300 comedians, right? So I wonder like if you have like the top comedians, like I wonder who, I wonder what, 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 what I'm saying is I wonder what, who I would be comparable to in the fucking, uh, in, in the Major League Baseball Association as a comedian. <laughs> like it wouldn't be one of, you know, it wouldn't be like pool holes or anything, but it would be like, you know, some guy that maybe I was like, oh, I think I heard of that guy. <laughs> so. I disagree. I disagree. Oh, thanks. Um, dude, you just had Comedians of the World come out. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh, you're you, saying congratulations. I thought you said and congratulations. Like, oh, that's no, my no, no. I'll, well. get to, I'll get to gotcha, that later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, thanks. Yeah. It was, it was incredible. Oh, thanks, dude. Um, yeah, it was cool to do that. I was doing, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, you know, the last two things I did were hour-long specials, or the last three things I did. Uh, well, one was for Comedy Central, and I did two for Netflix. And then they, they asked me to do this half-hour thing. And I was like, I don't know. And then they, they, I don't know, they were like, well, we're going to drop them all the same day. It's all going to be the comedians of the world. There's going to be people from, like, Germany and shit. And, like... It's like, that's kind of cool. And I had a half an hour material that I didn't want to put in my next special. So I was like, all right, let's do it. But I'm really glad I did because I'm definitely getting a lot more love from other countries. That's dope. This podcast is like, uh, I'm like number 20 in Jordan. And I'm like, wow. how the fuck do people in Jordan? I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you ever look on your, like your Instagram, if you can go to like, you can go your to like demographic what and stuff. Yeah. For, for like a week. Because it shows you like the top five. Yeah. For a week, it was like some place I'd never heard of. And I'm like, where the fuck is this? And I Googled it and it was like near Saudi Arabia or something. Damn. And I was like, how how many people is that that like that like like my shit in Saudi Arabia? I need to go tour in Jordan. My Instagram demographics always it goes US, mm -hmm. uh, Brazil, mm, yeah. Chile, and then like Mexico City. Really? Yeah, South Americans Mines, love me. Really? That's so interesting. Right? I guess that makes kind of that kind of makes sense. Though. I'm half Argentinian, but I've never like oh, promoted yeah. that. Yeah, What's they yours? can sniff it out. Mine is uh, America for sure. Uh, then I think it's Canada. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah, that's also a big comedy market. You know what I mean? At Vancouver least, or Toronto? Yeah, Toronto, uh, Van Vancouver. Uh, where else is good that I go? I mean, Calgary's, they're great comedy places. Like even Edmonton is a great mm. comedy place. Um, I'm half Canadian, dude. I got the I got the maple leaf on my hand. You have? My dad's oh, from yeah. Oshawa. From where? Oshawa. Uh, where's that? Uh, dude, I don't know. I've never been there. Nice. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've, uh, I mean, I've been everywhere in Canada. Let's see. Okay, so it's countries are United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and then India. Wow. They're, they have a lot of people over there. That's crazy. Yeah. My favorite thing is the people who can't find... One, one, I don't know anyone. I don't know how you can't find the special on Comedians of the mm -hmm. World because it's really fucking easy. Yeah. But your responses on Twitter are fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, because it's part of a series. I think if you type my name in, it'll come up, but it doesn't show my face. You know, like for my other specials, it'll have my face on yeah. it. So it doesn't have my face on it. It just has like a, a I think like a happy face, a yellow happy face or something for that. That's like the logo for Comedians of the World. And I'm just like, I'm on episode, I'm on episode two, guys, just figure it out. <laughs> just oh, literally whatever. hit play. I mean, you know, it, well, I, I did that so I would get fans that didn't know me yet. Like my specials, I know people will watch, my fans will watch, but I, one of the reasons why I did the Comedians of the World is because I was like, oh, people will, will watch this just to watch the Comedians of the World yeah. and then see me. 
So I was, I like to do different shit, you know? What was dope is I got to, I mean, all the times that I come out to the store and hang yeah. out with you, I got to watch you kind of yeah, work that do set. Yeah, that set, yeah. And then getting to see it on, on Netflix is, yeah. is fucking dope. Yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, it's like, uh, you never, like it was a, it was a good, we, we shot it twice. Um, and because you, you usually shoot your special twice, like you'll do it, you know, either, you'll either do it twice in one night or once on Friday and then once on Saturday. But uh, we shot, we shot, I think three of them because they were half hours. So it was me, Nick, Swartzen, and Trevor, K. Trevor Wilson. Uh, we, we shot ours together and we did it back to back. And the, the f we shot it at s seven o'clock and then we, there was like a 9.30 show or a 10 show. And the seven o'clock show was like, dude, it was like, first of all, I went first. Uh, and I was like, fuck it, they'll be jazzed. You know, it's a little early for a comedy show, but whatever, do it on the road sometimes that early. And I did it and it was so, the crowd was so, so stiff, dude. Really? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> it's amazing the amount of shit. I mean, you probably know when you're performing, like, but like the amount of shit you think about while you're performing, even though you're just, even though you're like, like you, you are thinking about what you're saying, but you're also thinking about Dude, uh, I've so had many existential like life yeah, crises know, know, on stage, like where I'm reevaluating like all of my decisions. Like, why the fuck did I book this tour again? I know, I know, and you and you're just like fucking pouring your heart out musically. But <laughs> no, but I did. Uh, I did the, the. It was so bad, and in my head, I'm like, okay, this sucks. I don't think I'll be able to use any of this, so I hope the next show goes well. Because I'm fucking. I literally was in my head thinking, am I bombing? And then I was like, I can't be bombing. I, I, you, you get to a point where I've been doing this for 13 years. You're like, you, just, you don't really bomb. You, you know what you're doing. Like you, you can't bomb. But I was like, I think maybe I'm actually bombing. And then the second show was way better because it had to be. I, and then also, I think, I think uh, doing that, I think doing that first one really helped me with the second one. Mm. So I was like, I can't, I did my only fought, a fucking shot. It was like the Eminem, the end of Eminem or the end of eight mile. <laughs> what does it feel like when you bomb? It's, it's, I know it's been a while. Well, actually, I did also bomb uh, for this benefit. Benefits are really easy to bomb on because it's always like it's like a charity, right? Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, Whitney Cummings, it was during the fires when all the animals yeah. were like fucking dying and yeah. shit. So, she went, she, you know, she's huge, uh, you know, uh, animal rights shit. And so, she went to go, um, save the animals, literally. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and so when she was there, she was like, I can't get away. I'm literally, I'm literally, she was texting me. She's like, I'm saving this giraffe. Literally, like I'm in the flames trying to save this giraffe. Will you cover for me? I got to do this benefit for pit bulls. And I was like, yeah, sure, of course. Like for you and also, yeah, I would like to do the benefit for pit bulls, you know? And, uh, and I did this benefit and it, and I had to, I was like, I can't, I can only go first because I have to go somewhere. And she was like, yeah, it's okay. So I, I went first and I realized when I got to the benefit, like they, every time there's a benefit, especially for animals or like, it's usually like for animals or, or something like for like domestic violence or like for like people dying of cancer. Mm. So they'll show like a video first. Ugh. And the video they showed first before I went on stage were about how pit bulls were dying. And Damn. like, and like they showed their cute faces and like, and then like, they'd be like, oh my God, like this, we saved this one, but this one died. And, but we had lived a good life and we're just trying to make it better for other pit bulls, help us. And everyone's crying. And then Kaylee Kyoko, the girl from- uh, Haley Kyoko. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she went up and uh, gave like, was hosting it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna bomb in front of her. I'm gonna bomb in front of like <laughs> famous people and shit. And I went up and I just fucking felt like I ate shit. And I was just like, oh, these benefits, it's benefits are tough. And I ate shit and it felt bad. I felt doubly bad because I was like, I hope I didn't fucking, they wanted Whitney and like I, they didn't know I was going to be there. And so like, I, I, I hope that they're not like, cause I think she brought me up like, well, Whitney can't come, but Chris is here. And I was oh, like, I, I, maybe people will like that. Maybe they won't, you know? So it was, it was rough. That was the, that was the time last time I felt really bad about my set. Well, you're a big animal dude, though, right? I mean, you always post uh, yeah, I love my dogs. stories of your dogs. Um, they are not pit bulls. No, they're far from pit bulls. I love. <laughs> got, I got Yorkies, two right? Yorkies, yeah, they're fucking awesome. Um, and uh, and yeah, so that's how long have you had your dogs? Seven. They're seven. Yeah, and wow. they're brothers, and they're uh, and uh, they're 
they're from the same litter. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I have another one that I've adopted from uh, my girl. Uh, his name is Cooper, and he's uh, half uh, golden and half, fuck, I don't remember, but he's like a big black golden retriever. Nice. Yeah, he's dope. That's my dream. I have a miniature pincher right now, but I, I want a German Shepherd or like a lab. Something I want a big dog. Yeah. Eventually. What do you have now? I have like a miniature pincher, yeah. like terrier mix. Yeah. So I love. I was like a big uh, little dog guy, and <laughs> then and then I just a a good big dog is like it's like living with it's a. Everything. It's like you fall in love with that. Yeah. You know, little dogs are like they're dumb. You know what I mean? Like my <laughs> dogs are fucking so dumb. They're like they they're just they're you say stop and they're like okay and then they don't and then they uh, don't stop and you're like you you know do you know that i want you to stop or are you just fucking dumb and then you get frustrated but big dogs you're like don't do that and they're like at least with cooper he's like okay you know what i mean and he just like chills big dogs are ch more chill most of the time too do you do you bring them in your car with you and shit yeah yeah, it's too much though. My my dogs are so my 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 little ones. They're so fucking spastic, man. My dog's so antisocial. Like I can't bring oh, him. I see? can't bring him anywhere. Really? Why? No. What a bark? He'll just fucking bark. Dude. Yeah, that's a lot. And you know, if we're at a restaurant, I'll try to eat all my food. And yeah, he's just he just oh, he's yeah. a street dog. You know, he did came you, from South LA. Did you train him? Does he like shit no. inside? Sometimes? No, <laughs> he doesn't shit. Yeah. He only shits inside when it's raining because he's deathly afraid. Dude, of the what rain. is that? I don't know. Yeah, I hate that. But you know, like if the sprinklers are on, he'll go and fucking eat a sprinkler. It makes no, it makes no sense. Yeah, you're right. He'll get yeah, like spraying he the fucking want face. The water on top of him, his back. It is, it is the strangest thing. And he's trained me now to where, like, every time I leave the house, I have to give him a treat or he'll shit in the house. That's the only time he shits. Wow. Literally, if really? I leave my house, see, so they do know. They're they, smart. Then those he's motherfuckers. he's a smart dumbass. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, if I leave the house and I don't give him a treat, he's gonna shit in the house. What's motherfuckers? It like, uh, we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> just shit, shit all over my dog babe, if, if he babe give, have sex with me before you leave or all shit in, my, in the house <laughs> have you ever shit have you ever shit the bed uh no no i never have but uh i have shit my my pants <laughs> one time in my life and how old, how I was, old were yeah you? no i was real young i oh, would okay. make the joke oh, okay. it was a few weeks ago but no um i so okay man this is a fucking funny story too okay so i i always wanted to tell this on stage and i just don't know how i don't really want to do a I shit my pants joke and then also it's just this will be a lot of work to figure out how to make this story funny on stage but um so jesus i don't even know how to I, this is i don't even know how to i used to tell the story all the time okay so I, when i was a kid i was fucking terrified of everything like everything like my parents would be like going to dinner and i'd be like be careful i'd like i think that they were gonna get killed in the restaurant by like shady people like i just i don't know what it was i saw too many movies or something like i remember one time when my parents were got picked up to go to um the airport the guy just looked like a bad guy to me and i was like mom i, I remember pulling my mom aside and being like mom be be careful like um i think that guy it, like is a killer <laughs> like when you were just a kid like a killer was like something like it was an occupation you know in your head he's like that guy's a killer he makes money killing and so she was like okay i'll be very careful you know i remember her saying that and i remember it too i was at the age where when she said that to me i remember thinking oh she is saying that She's to lying. fucking make me feel better and she knows it's cute that i think that that guy's a killer but i know better than that because i have like a sixth sense of who a killer is so mom you better fucking calm down and just be cool and be safe and watch out like, okay so i thought i was doing her a favor and uh and so so i would just ter terrify everything i talk about it on my podcast a lot which is called congratulations but i i uh like i would just be scared of like i'd run in my parents room i'd be like i'm scared I'm, I'm, i remember my dad being so frustrated I'd be like what the fuck are you scared of like everything's fine and i and i remember the quote saying <laughs> i remember saying I don't know everything bird i remember saying just birds was the thing i said and he was like you're scared of birds and i'm like not necessarily but just like i'm so scared of everything i remember just being so fucking terrified of absolutely everything so sleeping over a friend's house was absolutely out of the question just out of the question like i just couldn't never do it. stay the night of your friends well uh, when i was younger yeah i would just be too too scared i mean i was like my, my i would i had a next door neighbor named matt trevenin who was my best friend and i couldn't sleep over his house i would try to and then i would just run back home i would run from his door to my door and go back on my knock on the door at like 11 30 i'd be like she, my mom would be like what the fuck are you doing i'd be like i can't do it. i'm too scared like just let me sleep in our bed tonight and she'd be like okay. <laughs> so so uh my friend chris siegel uh who, he's a very birdie last name too yeah true yeah <laughs> ironic you so <laughs> so i was like uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go uh 
I'm, I'm gonna, he was like, you wanna sleep over? And I was like, dude, Chris, he goes, cool. He was like one of the cool kids. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'll sleep over your house. And, um, and, uh, and he was like, okay, uh, awesome. So we were gonna sleep over, it was probably Saturday night, you know, it was, I was fucking, Jesus, I must've been fifth grade or something. You know what I mean? Like young. And uh, he, Chris Siegel, who I, I was terrified of movies, as I mentioned, I was terrified of like anything like ha Halloween or Friday the 13th or whatever. Uh, I, he was the biggest Freddy Krueger fan, like the biggest Freddy Krueger fr fan. So, um, so I said to him, uh, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'll sleep over your place." And my mom was like, "So you're gonna sleep over Chris Chris Siegel's place, huh?" And I said, "Yeah." And I, by the way, Chris Siegel was from the bad part of New Jersey, okay. like like the 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 rougher area, right? I don't even know what you would call it, but we were from like the little bit nicer area. But his area was like some shit went down. So my mom was like, you know, if you go to Chris Siegel's house, you you gotta you gotta stay over. You can't run home like you do from Matt Renan's house. You know, it's very far away. It's very dangerous. I'm not gonna come get you. You know. So she was like, why don't you just why don't you just uh, if you can't fall asleep, that's okay. Just Stay awake, be awake the whole night, you know? I said, okay, but one thing I'm really scared of is Chris Eagle's like a big Freddy Krueger fan and I hope that he doesn't have like Freddy Krueger stuff in his bedroom. <laughs> and my mom called, I know my mom called. Uh, let me actually tell the story like that. So I went, I went, I got to his place. I was like, okay, mom, I'll do it. I'll do it. That's fine. I get to the fucking, I get to his house and I'm looking around. I remember walking into his room being scared, looking around, like hopefully he You're didn't have any. checking shit? Yeah. And there was no Freddy Krueger stuff. And then I looked down. I can't believe I fucking remember this, but I looked down. And you know how like when a poster, when a poster is on a wall, uh, it's, it's flat. <laughs> no. But when you take it off, it rolls up, rolls right? Rolls up, yeah. So I looked down on on a, a shelf or an end table or something, and there was a poster rolls, rolled up. And I swear to, I swear to you, the only part that you could see because it's rolled up. The only part that was exposed was Freddy Krueger's eyes. Ugh. Yeah, so it was a Freddy, Freddy, or a Freddy Krueger poster. Nightmare and, on Elm Street. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. And I looked over to the poster and I go, oh. And the mom <laughs> said, oh, we took that down. We meant to roll it up. And I realized that my mom <laughs> called her and told her to fucking take all the Freddy Krueger shit down. So my mom is really like on my side. She's like, Chris, you can do this. She fucking called ahead of time to get him. Emotional to support. Yeah, exactly. And, and I was a little bit embarrassed, but I was like, fuck it. I could do it, right? So so we're, so, so, and I realized as the sun's going down, right? I was probably there actually as, as the night was, I probably got there at night, but I remember as we were going to bed thinking, oh, there's no fucking way I can not be scared. I'm going to be so scared. So I'm just going to stay up the whole night. Uh, so I would try to keep Chris up the whole night when he was like fucking, we were watching movies and I was like, hey, what's up? I was asking some dumb shit. I was like, oh, what movie is this? You like this movie? And shit, I don't even give a fuck. I just wanted him to stay awake so he wouldn't fall asleep. So I wouldn't have to fight Freddy Krueger if he came in the fucking door by myself, right? This is You're all literally describing the plot of Nightmare on Elm yeah, Street. Yeah, I know, I know. all the kids have to stay awake so they don't die. Dude, <laughs> yeah, I know. And it actually gets more like Friday the 13th, or uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, sorry. So- yeah, you're right though. I actually never realized that, but that you're right. That is like literally the plot. I, 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 I okay. So I, I, I'm telling you this story, and I, I know that all of this happened, and I still can't, I can't wrap my head around how this all happened. Like the whole thing with the poster and how my mom called. That's nothing compared to what happened in the okay. story. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what else should we watch? You know, I'm being such a bitch like and chris was like oh this is a good this is a good movie and oh, i remember one time we were watching action jackson and we we're watching action jackson and in the beginning of the action jackson he was like you see how he said that line and i was like yeah he's like remember that for the end of the movie and i was like i remember thinking fuck yeah he's gonna stay up till the end of the movie so that's two hours knocked down right and at the end of ja action jackson he says the same line again and i was like oh that's why he didn't remember it. so now it's late action jackson's over other fucking movies come on and chris is fucking falling asleep and i'm like oh, I, I'm being such a fucking pussy. I can't keep asking him fucking shit to keep him awake and all that stuff. So I'm like, I'll just stay awake on my own. So as Chris is falling asleep, as he, he's, he's passed out, I'm like, I really got to go take a shit. I really got to take a shit. I forgot this was a story about sitting your pants. So I was like, I really got to go take a shit. So I, I'm like, can I, can I, can I make it or what? I, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to be alone in the bathroom because he had this fucking, um, bathtub with a shower curtain and it was so a shower curtain that like you could just peel back and be like it's, a it's great me place. freddy yeah, you know it's a I mean? great place like, for freddy to yeah die. and i remember it was closed i cataloged all this shit in the house before i went to sleep so i was like all right well i'll just i'll just wait here and i waited and i waited and i got really fucking tired i remember because i was fucking nine <laughs> and it was like 12 30 or, or one you know so i'm like how late do you stay up when you're nine so i remember i started 
passing out. The next thing I knew, I woke up and I really had to shit. And that's why I woke up. I was so scared. Uh, and I really had to shit. And I looked at the TV. Action Jackson was not on anymore. And dude, I, 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 I promise you this wasn't a dream. I promise you that this is what I saw, okay? Um, I, I see on the TV uh, a shot of a room. And, uh, okay, if somebody told me this, I would think that they were lying, but I am not lying, okay? It's a shot of a room. It's, it's, it's the, sh the camera's on the bed. There's a fucking bed shooting out from, like the, the camera's where the pillow of the bed would be and, it, and you would see your feet, right? Yep. And there's a door in front of the fucking bed. And that's really the, all that's in, in the, on in the room in the TV, on the TV, right? And I'm like, what is this shot of? And, and the door opens and, and I swear to you, I swear to you, Freddy Krueger is in the doorway and he's walking towards me. Now I am not dreaming this. I am not sleeping. This was on the fucking TV, okay? Now, I've thought about this all the time since it happened. Maybe it was like a, a clip from the movie or a promo, and maybe it was like the news or something that was like, this new movie is coming out soon, but that's what I saw. Was it that? It, well, no. Okay. It, but it was, it, was, it was just like that, though. It was just like that. But it was video. It was video of okay. him walking towards me. And I, I got, I went, oh, fuck. And I remember I almost shit my pants because I was so scared because I, because I had to go already. And I was like, okay, now I really do have to shit, but there's no way. Now there's no way I'm going to the bathroom because if he could be in the TV, then he could for sure be in the shower curtain, right? So I stayed up another hour just fucking holding the, cur the uh, blanket. And then finally... I, I wake up, like I must have fallen asleep again. I wake up and I don't know if uh, I hadn't, I don't know, it was like the, it, I, I was like, I was like something is wrong back there. Like it wasn't like, oh, I shit myself. Like I knew it immediately. I was like, something is wrong. Like it hurt and <laughs> it, and I woke up and it was halfway coming out of me. And it was so You're hard. Heading. It was so hard though. It wasn't like like at all. Like, like I felt like I hadn't drink water in a week and a half. And it was so hard. And I had to, and at that point I was like, look, I'm gonna fucking go shit. And if Freddie's there, I'll just die. I remember thinking like, I'll just die. I, Cause I'm not, I, I have shit coming out of me. What is, what is this life, you know? <laughs> This nine-year-old tiptoeing, I remember I had red shorts, red, my red PJ shorts, just tiptoeing through his fucking bed. Holding I was in like, the shit. Oh, just holding, half half of it's coming out of me. I remember, I, I don't mean to be gross, but I, I, I reached back and I felt it and I was like, oh my God, I felt this shit coming out. And I was like, I gotta go. And I went to the bathroom and I pulled my little red shorts down. And I remember I was eyeing the shower curtain the whole time ready. Because if I was like, if Freddie's gonna kill me now, I'm gonna turn around, I'm just gonna shit all over him. At least I'll have that. Yeah, wow. that, that was that was the only time I ever shit my pants when I was sleeping. I've shit my pants twice. Uh, first time. I'm uh, sorry that story was so long. By no, the way. <laughs> I feel like you have shit your pants though, because I mean, you kind of did you leave shit like all over his room or like nope, the carpet? It was nope. too hard. It was so hard. It was so hard. It wasn't dripping at all. It was. It was so. <laughs> I, what is that clip, dude? I, 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 please, somebody show me that clip. Yeah, if you guys can find it, uh, I've asked it on my podcast. I think comments below. Uh, the first time I shit myself was I met the Green Power Ranger. Uh -huh. I was like six years old, and I have a photo from this day because, like, when I was young, my dad would take me to go meet. Like, my dad played pro baseball, so oh, he nice. fucking would like go and take me to go meet all these pro baseball yeah. players. And he had met the brother of the Green Ranger, and I was a huge Power Rangers fan. So he was like, and he owned a karate studio or some shit. So my dad surprises me, takes me to this karate studio, and I'm gonna meet the Green Ranger. But you know, there's kids there and shit in a line. So I'm right before I'm like, Dad, I, I got a shit. You know, I got yeah. Poop. But like I was like five, my mom used to help me wipe my ass okay. when I was a kid. Sure. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I was I was messy and shit. And, right. You know, my dad wouldn't do that. Gotcha. My dad, it's a real man. Your dad's man. the guy who's like, "Yo, I'm gonna take you to meet your fucking hero." Yeah, I'm not wiping, I'm not your, wiping ass. your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to shit before I meet him. So I go take a shit, and uh, my dad does not go in there and help me. Uh, and I think <laughs> I think I'm doing a good. <laughs> what did you say? So at this point, have you wiped yourself ever? Yeah, but not good. Yeah, like, yeah, my yeah. thing was like yeah. getting around, you know what I mean? Yeah, All the way around. You. Your arms grew at a different point. <laughs> You're like I got I got tall dolphin. and lanky later in yeah, life. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it caught up later. Um, so 
I thought I did a good job of wiping my ass. Um, so I come out of the bathroom. I'm ready to meet Tommy, the Green Ranger. I, I remember. This fool picks me up. Sets me, no, sets, no, sets no, me. no, no. He sets me on his fucking shoulders, dude. I have the photo. It's framed at my parents' house. And every time I look on, I have a fucking mullet. I got a curly ass mullet. I'm wearing a white Power Rangers yeah. shirt. I'm wearing Oshkosh fucking button up pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts me on his shoulders. And as I sit down, yeah. it's kind of like the, like back there, I was like, oh, oh well, something's no. not right. And it's squishy and wet oh, and no. warm. Dude. All I could think about though is what do you think went through his fucking head? He, you know what he thought? <laughs> you know what he thought? He, he thought, I, oh fuck, dude, his dad didn't wipe his ass. That's what he thought. I can't believe his dad didn't wipe his ass. And I had to sit on this fool's shoulders while we balanced for a photo and just shit all you in rubbed my it in fuck, the back of I his rubbed neck. it in the back. And he had long hair, dude. He had like a ponytail and shit. I remember. Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> so anytime I go to my parents' house and I see the photo of us and I'm on his shoulders, I, it, it literally takes me back. Like I can remember not yeah. wiping my ass correctly. And ever since then, I, I made sure to like, I, now, dude, my girlfriend, everyone says I use too much toilet paper. Yeah. I'm, o, I'm OCD with wiping my ass. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. You, you use too much toilet <laughs> I keep telling you it's because I shit on a Power Ranger's neck. <laughs> Second time I, I shit myself, what it's like a half shit is I was I was twenty mm -hmm. and uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, and don't eat dairy. Uh, and I was leaving my homie's house and I was driving to my parents' house. I didn't have my house keys, uh, and so I'm literally I have to shit. I'm racing home in my truck and I call my dad and I'm like, Dad, I'm like, open up the front door. You know, when yeah. I pull in, I'm just I'm running straight. Oh in. yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's like, I'm not home, but I'll be there in ten minutes. And I'm like, fuck. So I get to my I get to my dad's house. I hop out of my truck and you know, like, you know, you're doing like the shit dance yes. and shit. Yes. My parents have this beautiful water fountain in front of their house and, and like this green, yeah. green lawn. Dude, couldn't hold it, man. I fucking took off my pants and got behind the fountain and bent down and just shit all over, <laughs> <laughs> all over the lawn. Oh, wow. Yo, but here's the worst part. We, the, I grew up in Riverside, so it gets yeah. really fucking hot out there. Yeah. I didn't clean up the shit oh, off the yeah, grass. So like three okay. days later, the gardeners come over. Oh, wow. And they got the fucking weed whacker. Yeah. And there's just shit going all over. Oh, the my place. God. Oh, gross. Did it smell then or no? Uh Oh, dude. It definitely smelled when I shit on yeah. the grass. Yeah. And I, I thought it was going to be cool because I'm like, dog shit all the time yeah i would think that too actually no, to be honest no yeah. and i remember i used uh i used my boxers to wipe my ass yeah that's what you have to do that's kind of what yeah. you have to do oh wait oh wait <laughs> wait there's two other times i shit myself i completely I forgot I'd get it about out of you, this dude i knew i'd get it i out can't of you. believe i'm forgetting about this it's because you know why you know why because this last one was very recent and i just <laughs> i've been telling the only time i shit my pants was the freddy cougar thing nine from yeah but no i i was at the uh I was on, um, what's that? Uh, uh, what's the hike? Runyon. Runyon. And, no, uh, you did not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My buddy, I, I hadn't seen him in like fucking literally 20 years. Was it Matt? Was it Matt no, Siegel? It, no, no, no. It was, uh, no, no. Chris Siegel? Yeah, Chris no, Siegel. No, it was uh, Kevin Duran, uh, not basketball player, an actor. Uh, uh, he's very, you'd recognize his face. Anyway, he's a big actor. But he, um, he, I hadn't seen him in a long time. I ran into him outside the comedy store. He's a very fit guy and I like to work out. And so he was like, dude, we should fucking catch up. Let's go on a hike or go on a bike ride or something like that. Let's go on a hike and run you. So we went on run you. I, I already took it. I took a shit before I went. I took a shit before <laughs> I went. So, uh, and then I, and I drank a coffee and I didn't eat anything. And I think that was the thing. I think you got to eat something with the coffee. I think. Anyway, I already As had As we're shit. both drinking yeah, fucking. I know, I know. <laughs> but I already had shit. So I'm doing the hike. And it's so funny too, cause he's really fit. And I started running. He's like, oh, do you run the hike? And I was like, ah, I try to run back and forth. He's like, oh, wow, okay. I usually just walk it. And I was like, oh, cool. Like I look cool. This guy's just way bigger and more fucking, you know, fit than me. And I was like, oh, I look cool. So uh, we're running back and forth, stop we're running. We take breaks and shit. We're almost at the end. And, uh, and a shout out to ASRV, by the way. I'm wearing, I'm, in this moment, I'm wearing ASRV <laughs> workout gear, which is the, my favorite workout uh, gear. Uh, I got the shorts and the, and the shirt on. I got it all. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm covered in ASRV. Uh, so um, I'm running up and um, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm glad I, I shit already because I, I feel like I would have to shit if I didn't, right? And like five seconds later, it's just, 
And I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna shit. And I say, hey, Kevin, um, yo, man. And I get, I get, I said this like I didn't say. I know I haven't seen you in 20 years, but I, I said it just like I said that. I was like, oh, hey, man, um, I have to shit. <laughs> Uh, right now, dude. And he was like, really? And I was like, oh yeah. Uh, um, I, and I just, I pulled my pants. And I was like, yo, just watch out. And as I'm like, just watch out for me. As I'm saying that just shit's just <laughs> like, 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 like that waterfall in front, in front of your house. It just is just dropping out of me, just dropping the fuck out of me. And it's a mess. And I have to like move my legs out. So it doesn't like, and I'm like, and I just take off my new fucking ASRV shirt and I fucking wipe my ass with the shirt. And it felt amazing. <laughs> and then I just fucking ran down. I was like, let's go. And I, like a kangaroo dude, just fucking hopped down the hill. It was like, nothing happened. And he was like, do you really just shit? I was like, yeah. I covered the shirt with it, dude. It was so gross. Were you on the concrete side or the dirt no, side? Bro, it was, I was on the dirt side and people were, but he didn't, but, but, no, but he was, for some reason, dude, it was so quick. I just went, yo, I'm gonna shit myself. And then I fucking took the shirt off, wiped it. And then I was like, let's go. And then, <laughs> and then we and then and then I left the shirt there. And then the next time I did the hike, I saw the shirt there. The shitty shirt was no, still there. Yeah, yeah. No. And then ASRV sent me a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> they sent me a whole bunch of other stuff because they heard my story on my podcast. And they fucking sent me a, a whole bunch of other stuff. And then also toilet paper. So, it was really funny. They sent me toilet paper. <laughs> ASRV, great gear to shit. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. And I told, I, I remember saying, like, I love their shit. I was like, I was so bummed I had to use one of their shirts. You know what's crazy is when you shit in a toilet, everything comes out so neat and and just like in a great form. That's what and, it's made for, that toilet. And uh, when you when you shit out in public, man, it's just everywhere. But I told Kevin I was because he's from like Canada and he's like, oh, I shit outside all the time, you know. But like, <laughs> but like we don't in LA. Do you know what I mean? Outside, it, outside in Canada is like forest. Outside in LA is outside of Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you don't. I have sh- seen some people shit outside of a yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, people that don't have houses. I have a fucking house. You know, so like, so, so, um, and then, and then I shit myself one other time. And this was the funniest time for fucking sure. All right. So I, this was so fucking, I, I, I can't believe this. Okay. So, uh, I was doing stand up, and I was like, first I was fresh doing the road. Like it was like a new comedian. I was like, this is fucking so cool. It's my life. It's awesome. And I was going to meet my family and my wife. I used to be married by the way, fucking 12 years ago. And, um, uh, I was going to meet them there in New York, in New Jersey, but I had a few extra days on the road. So I was going to stay in New York. I got a place at the Soho Grand. I was like, dude, I'm living large. Ballin'. I'm like the fucking, yeah. yeah fucking I'm, like, I'm like, I'm a comedian. I'm fucking, I'm a grown up. I'm doing, so I get up early. There's jet lag. I never get up early, but I got up early. I felt so fucking good. I was like, let's take a walk in New York City. The sun was out. It was like a fucking children's book. It was so beautiful. So I walk outside. I get, I take the elevator down the Soho Grand. I walk outside and I start walking. I just start walking. I got nowhere to go, dude. I'm fucking chilling for about a day and a half until I got to go to this bar mitzvah so i'm i i I see a a bagel place and one of those uh stands and i'm like this is so new york i'm gonna get a fucking egg bagel dude i never get the order from a stand i say hey man give me one egg bagel he's like all right sure i got the egg i got the ham and the bagel i start eating and i'm walking and i'm fucking living life okay all of a sudden i swear man the fucking i took a bite of the it was like i took a bite of the egg bagel and then all of a sudden my body was just like no no and i was like come (laughs) on man this can't be. It can't be the egg bagel. So I keep eating the egg bagel. I keep walking. It's sec- Every time I take a bite, I swear to God, it just goes right down to my tummy and goes, blah, 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 blah. and I'm I'm like, nah, this day is too perfect. This is not going to happen. So I keep walking. And then as I keep walking, I was like, I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where I was like, should I turn back? Because I'm going to have to shit. But there's toilets everywhere. It's New York City. So I'm fine. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And I'm like, fuck, I really got to shit. I'm going to find the toilet. I notice... I guess I'm up too early. Everything's closed. Close. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I like start, I'll, I'll, like, I'll make my way back. I'll find a toilet on the way back to this whole grind. As I'm walking back, uh, I'm like, what time is it? I was like, fucking, nothing's open. It's New York City. I thought this fucking city never sleeps. So uh, I'm like, all right, I, I'm walking and I'm, and I'm like, and I remember thinking, I got to the point where, okay, I have to shit very soon. I have to either make the decision because I would like be walking fast and I'd be looking in a restaurant. I was like, oh, it's closed. Walk fast, look at another place. I had to make the decision to keep doing that or say, fuck it and try to run all the way back to the Soho Grand. Because I couldn't, 
I was like, should I press my both. luck? Yeah. Should I press my luck and look? Maybe I'll get lucky. But I was like, I think there's a chance I can make it all the way back to the whole grand, but I can't stop and look at all at anything. <laughs> so I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. Fucking such a quick decision. And I felt I was like, I'm an adult. I made that fucking decision and it felt like a good decision. So I'm fucking running back to this whole grand. I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot. I don't know, I was 26, just like running with my arms failing. Um and I get to the Soho Grand. The second I get into the Soho Grand, I'm like, oh my God, dude, that elevator be, better be right fucking there. It better be on the right floor. So I go, I get into the elevator. It's right there. I'm going up and I'm unbuckling my pants in the elevator. I'm like, I don't, I'm like, guess what? If the elevator stops and anyone op- and it opens up, is there, I, I don't give a fuck that my my, under, my dick is out. I don't care because I'm going to shit all over everybody. That's going to be the least of the problems. Nobody's going to be like, I saw that guy's dick. They're going to be like, that guy shit all over the elevator, okay? So I'm like, uh, so the elevator, so the elevator, straight up, nobody gets in and out. And I'm like, fuck yeah, thank God, okay? I, I get my key out, my pants are down, okay? And I'm running, my dick is <laughs> flopping around. Like, I, I don't, I, you know, you don't give a fuck. You're like, you're gonna shit. No. So I get to the hotel, I go, the, I, hit, I hit the key, it goes, and I open up the door. As I open it, up, okay, this is how the hotel was. This is how the room was. There was a door. Then there was like a, a, a hall. I mean, it was very small because it was New York City, but there was like a little bit of a hall. And then the bed was over here. And then uh, there was another door after the hall. I mean, the hall was like from here to your chair, right? That was the the bathroom. Now the toilet was against this wall, okay? okay? So I had it mapped out. I was gonna, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you're thinking about this because you got it, right? Every split second counts. So I was like, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, my pants are already down. I'm going to fucking open the the door. I'm going to swing around. I literally had this plan of swinging around, sitting on the toilet. And as I was going to sit down, I was just going to let it loose and fire it in the (laughs) toilet bowl. Okay. You know, when you see the toilet, it's like, it's like some Pavlov's dog shit where you're like, oh, now I got to shit way more. Yeah. I saw that toilet. And I was like, it, it, I was like, no. And I swung around. And as I swung around, because I looked at the toilet, my asshole just <laughs> opened up. And it went fucking like a Gatling gun. It was just like all over the side of the wall. All over the side of the wall. Just and I got like a third of it into the toilet. <laughs> And I didn't give a fuck. That's how good it felt. I was just like, oh, I didn't shit outside in the fucking city. <laughs> and I remember having just cleaning it the fuck up. You dude. didn't call room service? I, I was going to say, I mean, did you call? I, I, I cleaned it up as best I could, but I was like, I'm not. I, was, I think I actually remember saying like to the mate, I was like, baby, I extra careful with that bathroom. Like, dude, I just remember spraying the fucking wall. Like I was some. Oh. Could you even sit down? Yeah. Wow. I think this is a good time for ads. Yeah. This is a great time. This is a great time. This is a great time for ads. Uh, Today's podcast is brought to you by the same people as last week's podcast, Squarespace. this this video is sponsored, brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Uh, I actually just signed up with my own promo code last week, and I'm building uh, my own site with Squarespace. That is no bullshit. I'm I'm dead ass. Uh, Squarespace empowers millions of dreamers, makers, and doers by providing them with the tools they need to bring their creative ideas to life. On Squarespace's dynamic all-in-one platforms, customers can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market a brand. Our suite of products combines cutting-edge design and world-class engineering, making it easier than ever to establish and own your online presence. It's simple to set up or transfer your domain with Squarespace, which is what I did. Uh, And it's never been easier to sell products or services online. Squarespace allows you to easily manage your products, orders, and inventory. Ready to start your new business? Make it with Squarespace. Uh, Go to squarespace.com slash ADHD. Oh, sorry. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ADHD to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, squarespace.com slash ADHD. Did you, uh, uh, they made you that sign or no, what? No, I made that. Oh, really? By hand. No, I'm just kidding. I got some uh, some some dudes in, in cool. like downtown to make it. 
That's you very like it? cool. Yeah, it's very cool. You have yeah. a cool sign. You, let's talk about your podcast. Congratulations. My sign was fan made. I got to actually make a legit one. I, I hadn't, I think that I had That shit's legit. It's like, yeah, it's no, all. It's, it's done nice. It's just, I think it's too small, but uh, I can't remember who made it. But I was like, it's oh, a nice I'll wood. And, and the, yeah, the wood, the back of the, the podcast was the, 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 the backdrop is wood now. Like, a, I didn't realize it when I said it because I always say, like, I don't have a podcast. I have my stand up, my my podcast, and my, and all of the shit that I do. It's I'm I'm it's a it's a cult. Like I'm just fuck all the You're extra cult shit. I'm a cult leader. Your babies, right? Yeah, exactly. And I said I used to say like, "Hey, what's up, my babies?" And that kind of st- stuck with it. Uh, stuck with people, and now people are like, "I'm a baby." Like people started saying, "I'm a baby." I'm like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" Oh, I always I, oh, I guess because it's I say, "Hey, my babies," and so now I have a cult, and uh, and I always say like, "Pretty soon we'll be in a log cabin." Uh, one of these days and just fucking be sharing ideas. You know what's fucked up though? Every cult leader ends up fucking everyone's wife. I I, I know. I I know. And they are cool with it. It all ends one way. Yeah, Yeah, everyone's wife gets fucked. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I mean, you know, I I, I guess there's the fucking midbrain part of me that's like, oh, that's cool, more chicks. But like, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I I want it to be like a nice kind of like hanging out. I also, another thing about about a cult is, it, it there's always like the end of days coming mm. i don't want that i don't want that either i want to be like dude there's way too many days and i hope this shit ends but it's not going to and this is how we fucking live now is it a lot of pressure running a cult it's no dude it's no pressure man it's just the pressure is to just do the podcast every uh every week and just to make sure you know that people are living uh the you know it's it's about like living living like a really good life and just like like not being upset with chilling. Like, you know how some people feel like they're wasting time? Dude, if you're having a good time, then that's not wasting time, like what John Lennon used to say. And then it's like a hedonistic lifestyle, man. It's about fucking and sucking. That's what it's about. <laughs> and chilling and eating and drinking coffee and just having a good time, man. Work out if you feel like it. You, you know? work out a lot. I watch all I watch all your stories from I like the road. To work out. You yeah. get after it even when you're on tour too. Which yeah, is it's so it's so much. It's so much harder, man. Because I just work out at the hotel gym though. I don't like I just jump around and like I'm an idiot. I do like circuit uh circuit training kind of stuff when I'm on the road. Because like all I need is like a few uh dumbbells and, and like some you're like Joe Rogan, dude. Something. You just need the kettlebells. I mean, dude, I'll tell you what, I'm nothing like Joe Rogan. That guy is <laughs> a I fucking can't, beast. I, I can't believe how uh hardcore that guy is about working out and how how i mean shaking that guy's hand and like every time i see him i'm like hey what's up and we hug you know we do that like bro hug kind of thing i swear to god one time i did it i think i told him this but one time i did it and it was when i barely knew him it was like in the beginning when we started started like becoming friends uh my jaw hit his shoulder when we were and it was fucked for like three days (laughs) for three days i was like dude did i fucking hug joe rogan and fuck my jaw up First of all, he's he's like a rock, you know. He's one of those guys that's just like solid, solid. But also, how much of a pussy am I that my that my jaw got fucked from a hug? <laughs> what was it like going on his podcast? Even on that that podcast, yeah, a, a few bunch, times, man. yeah. Um, it's fucking. I mean, it's it's it, just seeing what it's become in the past two years is crazy because it was already big. And like I did it like maybe five years ago, and then I did it maybe a year ago or something. And it's just so much bigger. It's just he's he's like the new Howard Stern, you definitely. Know? Or like the, he's like fucking somebody said it. I don't remember who said it. But he's like Oprah for guys. I mean, he's <laughs> so big, and it's cool. But his his podcast is less about. I mean, we had a silly one last time, um, but it's more about like he's just good at like he's just good at he's good at letting you talk, and he's good at conversation i don't know what it is it's a real skill but uh i admire it because i don't i don't know how to do that i feel like but it's just it i mean he's gonna have kanye west on that's insane yeah so that's gonna be a crazy one yeah the, uh, you the only guest you've had on your podcast is your brother right yeah that was for the 100th episode which was awesome i just uh yeah i, I it, it was really fun a lot of people saw that one um i think that because they were they had the curiosity factor and then also people like when i talk about my family which i, I never i would never have guessed that um but uh those stories seem to be the the most liked on my podcast and like when i talk about my dad and mom and stuff but um i think it's because it's relatable yeah and it offers like a new side to Chris D'Elia that, that people yeah, don't I, necessarily get maybe i guess because i always i don't know what it is like whenever i like see people post about their family and like friends or like even worse to me is like when like like country music singers always are always <laughs> posting about like their wives and their fucking kids. And it's just like, 
it's so eye rolling to me, but like people love that shit, but I never cared. I never cared about like, like when social media became popular, um, like the rock is, is the best example. Like he'll post a picture of his like daughter. I, I don't like, I, I, I think that's adorable, but like, why, I, I, it's like, you don't like it. No, like I'd rather <laughs> you know, see him. Have it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd rather see him fucking working out and his, I, I, that's why I follow the rock. <laughs> He's the fucking rock, you know? Or like Kevin Hart, if you post about his family, like I want to see him being funny. Like, I don't know, maybe that's my, my my fault, my shortcoming. But like, I always feel like because I'm like that, that people just want to see me fucking around. Mm. But, you know, I, I don't know. Yo, yeah, it is relatable though. When you make fun of Mark Wahlberg <laughs> and his fucking, what is it? Like the 3 a.m. Yeah, club, the, the 4 a.m.? 4 a.m., I think, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he- uh, Have you met him? I never met him. No, I Has never. Has he met hit him. you up? By no, the- I heard through somebody that uh, knows him, and I don't know how true that is, but they were like, "I was like, I, because he just looks like a guy that wouldn't think that that's funny." Re- he, oh, okay. He looks like a guy that, that would take that shit personal. That would be like, "Why the fuck are you talking shit?" You know. <laughs> and I feel like that maybe maybe that's just me, just because he's like a real Boston guy. I've known guys like that and shit, like from New Jersey, but like. Uh, I don't know if it, somebody was like, yeah, no, he saw, I don't know if they were lying or not, but they're like, yeah, I know him. And he, 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 he saw, and he thought it was pretty funny. And I was like, this, it seemed like that person was saying that to make me feel good. And I don't think that he thought it was funny, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> who's, uh, who's your buddy that we would always go, we would always go get food with that worked at Trader Joe's. Oh, Craig. Because yeah, I, I saw your, he got fired from Trader yes, Joe's. For, is that, I was going to ask you, is that real? He did. He got fired for farting on customers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy, Craig who like just like if a kid were to have were to draw somebody if you if you give a pen and a paper to a kid and you're like draw somebody that would sell you drugs they would draw craig <laughs> like that's just what he looks like he He's looks good. like a character yeah. from brink you remember that that rollerblading <laughs> movie <laughs> Wow, no. I'm gonna Google Can you pull that, that. Oh, up, yeah, pull on, that the, up. on the thing? Brink? Brink? That's hilarious. Oh, my God. That's like, you know, because he has like the brink hair. He's super, hey, dude, the nicest really? guy. Oh, the nicest guy. The nicest fucking guy. I love and, him. And he man. sounds like this. Oh, yeah. He, he does. It's, dude, does he funny, not yeah. have the brink hair? Yeah. That's brink hair, dude. I went to a bowling alley with that guy on the left once. Like, really? Tw- like fucking 20 years ago. I forget his name. Uh, yeah, same here. The guy on the right always played the fucking douchebag asshole kid. Wow. Uh, in, in those Disney movies. Wow. I wonder if, like, they look back at that, like, as their glory days. You yeah. Know? Like, Eric fuck. is the guy on the left. Eric something, I think. Was he cool? He was like that guy, you know? That, that guy. <laughs> um, he was rollerblading at the bowling alley? Yeah. But he, uh, no, so Craig sh- would fart on customers. I'd be like, dude, you're going to get fired. You're putting it on your Instagram <laughs> story. And he was like, yeah, I don't know. I've been working on it at, well, at uh, Trainer Jones for, like, an like 10 years i don't think i think i need to get fired because you know i need to do comedy full time and i was like all right and he got fired because some asshole sh- told on him i'm like well, you're putting it public and he was like i am gonna i'm gonna be doing comedy now full time because i <laughs> farted on customers he's gonna open up every set with that i know well no I, yeah he must do it in his act he has <laughs> he to. has to dude. yeah can't let it go to waste. do you ever get you film a lot of people at airports and shit when you're traveling yeah do you ever get people that hit you up and be like oh it's my dad yeah most of the time people hit me up and they're like so excited okay uh i don't know if any oh one time one time a guy got upset with me and i just took it down i was like you want me to take it down i'll take it down like i don't i don't ever i never want to put somebody up if if they're not gonna have if it's like a yeah, weird thing or if they're if they're like if they really don't want it up i don't want it up either i just assume pe- it's fun make fun of everyone. people always film me when i'm out fuck it i don't give a shit um and so one time a guy commented on his own thing that i posted and uh, it seemed like he was upset and i was like yo if you want me to take it down just tell me and i kept checking back and he, he never said take it down so i was like all right maybe he wasn't upset and then there was another time where i was filming a car videoing a car and i w- didn't couldn't see the guy but he got in touch with my manager and he was like not mad but he was like i'd rather it not be up there because my license plate is on there i was like oh okay i'll take it down i took it down damn because I, I never, I don't want to. That's a lot of work to, to go yeah. <laughs> to like find out your manager yeah. and hit them up. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's funny. I, I do it less and less, I think, though. I think a, as I get older, it's not the kind of thing that I think is. 
I don't know. It, it, just social media has just become its own fucking beast. And like, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like I, 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 I respect people's privacy a little bit more now. Not totally, but a little bit more. Have you had any like weird fan encounters where like they find out where you live? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I had like, I used to have like people find out and like tweet me and like just random numbers text me, like knowing where I was and shit. It's just, fucking scary shit dude at my new house i had these two girls that like parked in my fucking driveway yeah. and sat there for like three hours oh, and said that their car broke down but they did it like three times it was yeah. fucking great it was crazy yeah. you're like you got the worst car or the <laughs> oh, worst brain exactly um another thing dude is you actually got me a job uh, on the show that we're both on Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, you co-signed yeah, yeah. me really fucking know. hard, and I texted you. I said thank you. I did co-sign. Yeah, that's no. that's really. I got a job because Chris, you're cool. you're you're employing me. Over here. <laughs> you're making sure that I'm I'm afloat. You're you're a good dude. They <laughs> they asked me about you. They're like, do you know Travis? I was like, oh hell yeah. I was like, oh you should hire him for sure. He's great. Yeah, and that, I, they. I mean, they probably would have done it anyway. But yeah, I, I did I did vouch for you. Uh, it was a show called uh, Alone, Alone Together. Together. That by the way, I stand by this. I think that show was the fucking funniest show on TV when it was on. That show was so funny to me. That's great. Oh, did, was it only two seasons? Yeah, two. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, so I was. I got in there right yeah, you before. Got in there, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. But you also worked with my buddy David Sullivan on that one. Well, what was and it? that yeah, because that's how we met, man. Oh yeah, that's right. We met at a. We met at a diner at uh -huh. like three in the morning. Yeah. And by the way, you made me look so cool because uh, it was right when me and Madeline started uh -huh. dating, and we went. We went to this diner. I'm not gonna say where it is because we go there all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, we went to this diner and um, we just had finished a movie, and it was like, dude, this was probably like our third date, right? Uh, oh yeah. And you know, she's on this fucking TV show that's right. killing it. I'm just like a shitty like you know musician, and I'm like, okay, cool. And so we're eating like you know, I'm eating eggs and shit, and I I notice you over there because I'm a fan, you know, I'm, I was a fan, and she's a fan, and so I'm like, oh fuck, oh, cool. you know, we're trying to like do the whole yeah, you know, not move our mouth thing because I just feel like you can totally <laughs> tell when people know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, that's you know, Crystal. Leah. And um, and so we didn't want to bother you or anything. You were with a couple of your of your friends. And um, as we were walking out, you were sitting right by the exit and you stopped me and you're uh, like, cool. you're like, yo, yeah, yo, you're on uh, yeah, you know, yeah. my buddy yeah. David's ah, show. Because cool. yeah, yeah. we did the show Flaked, and and uh I think we exchanged numbers we that did night. That night, yeah. And uh I remember I walked out of there and she looked at me like Oh fuck! You are you are pretty nice. cool. Nice, oh, good. You are pretty cool, no, dude. I got you a job and a check. Yeah, bro. I owe everything to Chris D'Elia. Um, <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, man. I'll keep I'll keep vouching for you, bro. That's <laughs> um, uh, yeah. That, I remember that night. That was cool. Yeah, because I would always see you. I, dude, I would see you around for years, and I, I I would see you around before I knew who you were. I was like, who's this fucking tattooed guy? And um, that's so crazy to me because like I have, you know, I've dealt definitely dealt with like self esteem ish, like not self esteem, but like just. I'm just like, dude, who the fuck? Nobody knows who the fuck I am, right? Like, I just like, I just like walk around. I just do my thing. Well, and you don't like, think that of yourself. Sure, I get it. Exactly. Yeah. So like, you know, when I'm a fan of somebody, like, I'm just like, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy to me. Like, you know, that uh, other people's eyes work. You yeah, know? When, I know. When I'm, when I'm places. It, it takes a while. I, I remember talking to Whitney Cummings about that. She was just like, I, I, she, she kind of was saying what you're saying. She was like, I feel like when I'm not wearing makeup and when I'm just at the airport, like, I'm never gonna get recognized, and people are just like, "Hey, Whitney," and I'm, and she's like, "I guess my," I remember she said, "I guess my face is just my face," <laughs> but that's how it feels, though. You're like, I'm not. Nobody's, nobody's, nobody's. Every time I get off a plane, nobody's gonna, airport. Everyone always fucking recognize everybody, but you're like, I'm not. No, nobody's gonna know. We're at the airport, and they were, sure enough, you get off the plane. Oh, hey, can I get a pic? And you're like, that's fucking weird to me. It's so weird. It's always the times when you least expect it to. It's always the days when you leave the house and you're like, oh, whatever, I'm just going here. No one's going to know. Yeah. And, you know, some dude, me and Madeline went to urgent care because I was sick. Oh, you told me this. I did? Hey, I think you did. Okay. Yeah. And, what happened? Uh, I, I had like a, a sinus infection. Yeah. So I went, I got like, you know, whatever, just antibiotics. <laughs> and I'm wearing a mask so I don't get more sick because everyone's in there right. fucking dying. Right. And so we're walking out. And there's these like two dudes like standing, you know, yeah. like 45 year old dudes and they're looking at me all crazy. And so like I squared up. I'm like, what's up? You know, like I thought I was going to have to fight Jesus, somebody. Yeah. And then these fools just pull a camera out of their jacket. And just, bah, 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 oh, bah, yeah. Bah, you bah, told bah. me this. Yeah. And it was the only time that I've literally like been chased by paparazzi, like to the point where oh, like wow. they were on my windshield, you know, taking oh, really? photos. So me, I grabbed Madeline. I'm like, let's go. Let's go. And they're, they're rolling video too. And they're like, how long have you known you're pregnant? Uh, when are you oh, due? Yeah, uh, congratulations. Congratulations. And me, at, like when we figured out what was going on, we're like, 
what the fuck, dude? That's funny. Because I'm wearing like a surgery mask and like she's in <gasps> sweatpants. Oh, uh, yeah. And so they thought that she was pregnant, but you know, we called, like, we, we're leaving and we called the, the our team and we're like, yo, if, if they run this shit, fuck them. We're not right. doing, you know. Yeah. So thank God it never, well, I just, I just put it out there. The yeah. Way. But, uh, well, but yeah, you put it out there that it wasn't happening. It was, it but wasn't. That, that's, uh, wow. That's, yeah, that's weird. I never, I mean, you get snapped sometimes when you're going into fucking dinners and shit, but people don't, I, I feel like, you know what I feel like too? Like, um, you're, you've got a following. She's got a following. If you're together, like that, just like people love knowing people are dating. So that's a story. You know what I mean? Mm. So they're like, ah, fucking bam, bam. Like you're going to get, you're going to get like even more, uh, shot if you're with her than if you're solo. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. it's like, oh, romance, romance. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Has there been anyone that like you've just been out and someone's like come up and been a fan that you're a fan of that's uh, yeah, kind of surprised yeah. you? Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Fuck, I'm an idiot. Uh, you're a horrible fan. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. But he's hilarious though. Um, I, I, he's the guy in... Um, Jesus, I mean, this is so annoying. I never know people's names. I'm so dumb. Uh, in uh, Ant-Man, the, the the Mexican guy. Uh, the the He's also in like... Um, I mean, he's in oh, literally oh, oh, is everything. Is he in uh, Narcos? Uh, yes, yes, the new one. What's his name? I feel like a fucking asshole uh, too, because uh, uh, um, Jesus Christ, Mike Michael. It's Michael something, right? Yes, Mike, Pe Pena. Michael Pena. Right? Yeah, he uh, he came up to me. I was I think I was actually going up to him, and as I was going up to him, he goes like this, dude, and I was like, uh, what's happening right now? I didn't know what was happening. He was like, no, no, and I was like, I was just gonna come say like you're great, and he was like, you don't understand, and I was like. No, I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. And he was like, and he rev was referencing one of my bits. And he was like, that fucking, and he was telling me that. How he, I was like, dude, I was coming. I was like, no, no, no. I was coming up to you to tell you I fucking think you're hilarious. So that was really cool. Oh, and oh, and another one. It was actually the same night. It was at some fucking event. Uh, this kid comes up to me and, she, and he was like, uh, dude, I fucking love you. I mean, this kid was 18, 19. And I was like, oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. And he was like, mom. This is the guy I was talking about. And she turns around in this Robin Wright pen. And Damn. she was like, oh, really? Yeah, he fucking loves you. And I was like, oh, no shit. I was like, oh, you're great. <laughs> Hollywood is so funny, dude. Dude, those parties are I know, I know, fucking I know. crazy. And I'll always go, you know, because Madeline has to oh, go to yeah, a bunch yeah, of the yeah. TV ones. Yeah. And so, like, usually I wouldn't go to those. Yeah. But I go. And then it'll just be, like, the most rant. I'll be hanging out with, like, Ray Schremert and fucking just music. Music people will make their way. And then yeah. it's, like, my group of friends. And she's, like, <laughs> on the outskirts. I'm like, see, I'm, I'm cool, too, man. Dude, I, I, hate, I hate going to those parties. And uh, I get invited sometimes. And I'm just like, I'll go. And then the night comes and I just don't go. And even my agent was like, dude, you're killing it. You're really, you're good at what you, what we do. You're good at your stand up, And when you do acting, you kill it. You really should like the only part you're not really killing it is like the networking. You don't go out. And I was like, yeah, I know you're right. I got to do it. And I just fucking, I don't know. I just don't want to fucking talk about the weather. You know, I feel you. It's just like, it's, it's mind numbing. It's like I'm on stage every night doing my dream job. It's the best thing in the world, according to me. And then I got to fucking get off stage and, and like have a conversation with some fucking guy that like is like on CSI. I don't give a shit. Like, and, and sure, the show's great, but like I'm having a conversation with the guy that it goes like this on, on screen. He's this guy. I'm way ahead of you. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I just don't care what he has to say. And maybe it's a shithole thing, but like. I don't, why, he shouldn't get what I have to say either. Like, why are we talking? I, I'm, I'm not gonna be your friend, not gonna be my friend. I just wanna fucking, I have my friends. I just wanna chill. I wanna be at my house. That's why I just wanna get this log cabin going and this cult. So and everyone just, can just move in. We just chill and fucking people we like Wives each other. may or may not get fucked. It, it, yeah, if you want. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you introduced me to Theo Vaughn and I'm a, I'm a huge yeah, Theo fan. And that night I went uh, on his Instagram and he had already, he was following me already. Oh, uh, really? And so that was a cool thing. Oh, that's thing. a cool one, that, yeah. Right, when you yeah. go on someone and it yeah, just says follow cool back. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, fuck that's yeah. That's cool, yeah, that feels yeah. good. That was dope. That's funny. Was that like uh, when you met Justin Bieber? How was that? Oh, yeah. Uh, how did I? Oh, yeah. I met him through. Uh, so he would come to the Laugh Factory sometimes. This is uh, when I would do the Laugh Factory like a lot, a lot. And he uh, he was coming. And then one night I was in bed. And he's. And, and the Bieber owner, came over and crawled into bed. <laughs> and the owner called me and he was like, buddy. Um, <laughs> 
Who is the singer? I met him with you. Yeah, he Jamie, talks yeah, like yeah. that. Buddy, uh, uh, the singer, um, he's the most famous singer. He, he's here to see you, buddy. And I was like, who? And he was like trying to get at Justin Bieber. And I was like, Justin Bieber is there? And he's like, yeah, he asking for you. And I, he's like, you, can you come by? And I was like, I'm in bed. I'm like, it, my, it, my immediate reaction is like, yeah, I got to go. Because he's the most famous guy in the world. And then I was like, I'm not. I'm not getting out of bed and rushing over to perform for an 18 year old. Like I just, <laughs> on principle, I was like, I, I, I was like, I can't. And I hung up and I was like, I, I looked at my girl at the time, I'm not with her anymore, but I was like, is that the right move or what? I'm like 35, like, do I do that? And she was like, ah, fuck it, you know? I was like, yeah, I made the right decision. And then he came next when I was scheduled to be there. And he came up to me with him and his buddies. And he was like, hey man, Will you will you bring me on stage and just like roast me? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and he was like, all right, cool. And I was like, all right. And I did my set and I was like, guys, you're not gonna believe me, but um, Justin Bieber's here, and I'm gonna bring him off sta on stage. And I brought him on stage, and everyone was like, oh, 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 oh shit, he's real. And then I just made fun of him a little bit, and then TMZ picked it up, and then you know. Uh, he, we did the roast. We did the Justin Bieber roast. Incredible. Um, and it was cool. It, it, it was cool. I, I haven't seen him in a bit. And then I saw. And then one time, I was at the coffee bean. You know, I like my coffee. And uh, and I was. It was before I was going on set for something. I was rushing. I was rushing, and I was getting in my car with the coffee. And I hear, "Hey, Chris!" And I was like, "I just duck, duck my head. I don't know who it is. I didn't want to fucking." Fan. Yeah. And I go. I go in my car. I sit in my car. And before I close the door, I was like, "Chris, Chris!" And I'm like come on guy give up and then and then as i'm closing the door i hear you're gonna do me like that and i was like who the fuck is this asshole i open up the door back up and i'm like hey what's up and i see this fucking guy just looks like a fucking homeless guy just fucking far away and and as he's walking towards me he turns into justin bieber i'm like oh hey what's up dude i was like oh shit I was like, I was just going to fucking ignore you because I'm like, I was like, you get it. It probably happens to you all the fucking time. <laughs> and and uh, he was like, nah, bro, it's me. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, what are you doing? It was like seven in the morning in the parking lot of Coffee Bean. And he was just walking around. I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm just listening to music, dude. It's how I clear my head. I'm like, ah, oh, bro, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, good to see you, man. And then I fucking went Have to work. Have you seen the video of his car breaking down in the hood? Yeah. And he dances yeah. and does push-ups and shit? Yeah. Oh, that, man. I saw a little bit of that. Hilarious. Hilarious. That guy. Imagine being that famous. I just don't know. I'm so glad I'm, yeah. I, well, you may be one day. Nope, hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully not. Um, dude, we've we've already done an hour. That was fast, right? Bro. Yeah, we did. We did. It was good. You're the fucking man. Um, you are. I'm glad. I'm glad. Forty five percent of it was talking about shitting our pants. Yeah. Uh, if we can get an underwear sponsor for next <laughs> yeah. week's episode, Me Meundies. There we go. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to plug anything? You know, you got the congratulations. Yeah, pod. I got my podcast. Congratulations. Subscribe to that, and I do it every week. It's really fun. It's just me talking shit. Uh, and I don't have guests. It's just me talking <laughs> just shit. Him. I tell stories like how I shit myself. And uh, is it hard doing it? I mean, you're a stand-up comedian, so no. I thought it was going to be way harder than it was. I thought, you know, because when you go on to do stand-up, you got your material to fall back on. You can do that for an hour. I do that for an hour. Yeah, you know what I mean. So uh, I was like, I'll try it. I'll probably not be able to do it for three after three episodes. And I quickly got into the rhythm of things, and then I, I my podcast really blew up. Uh, very quickly, I started getting ads and sponsors. I remember when and you started money. it, dude. Yeah, it was like a few episodes in, I started making money doing it. And so I was like, oh, I can't stop now. And so I was like, I guess I got to keep doing it. And it's it's just, it's kind of like my, dude, when I walk around my house, I'm talking out loud. I'm just, you know, I'm a crazy person. So like, that's just kind of what I do. It's ramblings. I've, I've said a thousand things that would bury me on my podcast if I ever tried to run for office. So, you know, which I won't ever do. But now I can't. Well, and you got amazing merch. So uh, if you guys are listening, oh yeah, I gotta, I, I, I gotta get you one. I, I didn't have it at the house, but I'll have, I'll send the one. Dent, to you. The dent hoodies are fucking all right, awesome. Cool. The I'm baby's a, hoodies are. I'll are send amazing. you all that shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, you're the fucking man. Are you going up tonight? I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it cool yeah. if I tag along? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, come, right. come. I'm, I'm, I'm there for sure. I'm awesome. there. Uh, if you guys watched, thank you so much. If you guys are listening, subscribe, rate it five stars. Chris D'Elia, dude. Thank you again. Thank you, you're bud. The fucking best. All right, man.